everyone and welcome back to Sudestia! I am standing in front of our loyal companion relaxation yard with our loyal squeaky clean companions. They had a bath yesterday, didn't you guys? Didn't you guys have a bath? And we managed to get so many things out of Tate and Lily's inventory. In fact, let me see. Uh-huh, Lily, let me double check. Yeah, she's all squeaky clean. Tate, squeaky clean. So our loyal companions are now um, nice and tidied up. Also, Pine. I need to get a tree for Pine's little log house. But hello, everyone. And thank you so... <laughs> hello to you too, kitty kitties. <laughs> Hang on. Uh, Major Calhoun. Sorry about that. I was going downstairs. Is there anything you wish to, wish to discuss? Hmm? 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 Hmm. So these cats are working on the case update of the mystery of where Bigfoot went. Bigfoot was our original uh, Brachiosaurus. Whoa, you can't see him if we zoom in. But our original Brachiosaurus fossil. And we're trying to figure out where the heck... Oh, darling! That was a big stare, darling. It startled me. Do you have any tea? Hello, I love you. Oh, tea. Yay. Oh, wow, we have a lot of peach tea from him. But yeah, look, Bigfoot was our original Brachiosaurus that we had over there. And uh, the fossil like was a gift from Calf and Good Lubot. If you guys haven't been able to follow along, and I've had a few people go, Siri, what's happening? What's going on with the zoo cast? Well, apparently there were two Lubots. There was Good Lubot and Evil Lubot. And Good Lubot is our Lubot, the amazing Lubot that we know and love. And Evil Lubot is a Lubot who was caught in the time vortex and spent eons just circling around through different dimensions portals and time itself and let's just say the results weren't pretty <laughs> so evil lubot came and i think calf killed him or something like that it sounds dramatical um but i you know i've been a little bit distracted running the zoo oh it looks like darling's trying to get into my little mushroom farm are you hungry for mushroom stew darling that actually sounds like a really good thing for dinner i'm gonna make some mushroom stew while we talk in fact, yeah, mushroom stew. Stew seems like a good thing. I've been making a lot of soup lately. How are you doing, Artemis? Let's see, stew. Can I make, like, meaty stew with tofu? I can, but I want mushrooms. So we can use toadstool, toadstool, and a mushroom. Or we can just use a mushroom and a mushroom. All right, Artemis, how are you doing? And we actually found some toadstools that the dogs picked up, so I was really grateful for that. We're going to have to see if we can collect these toadstools because you can use them to make shroom powder, which I think would be really cool to trade uh, with, like, an uh, NPC so we could get more mushrooms, like more of these mushrooms. These mushrooms don't respawn in the world, so we need to speak with a special, like, villager, an NPC of some kind, so that we are able to get the mushroom spores to regrow these guys or more just get the mushrooms directly from them because it makes shroom salad which is yummy 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 mushrooms i love mushrooms they're just so yummy but all right so let's make a couple let's be like eh, uh you know a half dozen of the cereal the cereal the shroom salad shroom salad artemis what is up with me today what is up with me huh let's make a half dozen of the mushroom soups so we have oops I forgot they don't stack! <laughs> Darling! There's a lot of mushroom soup available. In fact, maybe I'll swap it out. No, not like that. Like, eh, eh, eh. Alright, actually, there we go. I put it on the table for Darling. That's actually really adorable now that I think of it. So, I put his lunch, well, I should say dinner, on the table. And we've got some grilled asparagus to go with it. And uh, I've got lots of peach tea. <gasps> that reminds me, we need to make like a little tea thing. Maybe we'll do that today, Artemis, as a side quest. You and I will work on that tea. Uh, I also have some spruce wood planks I need to clean up. So let's just go ahead and turn it into another bowl, another set of bowls. And then we can wash these, wash, 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 and put them away. There we go. Oh, I feel nice and productive. And then let's return the case update because this is our security, our security cats are on the case to figure out where Bigfoot went. And what we're going to work on today is actually helping out Dr. Nami some more. We're gonna zip over to Dr. Nami and Mandy's research area, and we are going to try to give them some living quarters, because you guys pointed out, there's nowhere for them to sleep, and it's, it's not right to make them just like pass out at their desks. Hello, darling. Also, I think I've decided I wanna make their desk out of more marble. And if we're gonna make living quarters, we need more marble. And we need more of the dreaded, 
cyan stained glass so that I was thinking we could dig into the mountainside um, next to like that the doors lead into and then we could turn to the left and the living quarters could be kind of like down the hall to the left and each living quarters will have a window looking out onto the cove so I was thinking that would be pretty cool but that means we need more oh my gosh these chickens why are there so many of you but that means we need more of the the <laughs> clear glass so I can stain it. Oh, this this glass. I'm just like I can't wait till we set up a village that just can make the glass itself. Did I get all of it from from here? Oh, there's one, two, and a chicken in the way. Pardon me, pardon me, lab chicken. You guys came up with some good names for the lab chickens too, so I'll have to name a few of them. I guess they're gonna get underfoot. They're, they're just going to be underfoot for a minute. Oh, ah! look at them analyze the experiments. That's awesome. Thank you very much for all of your dutifulness. And there you are again, lab chicken. Experiment 626. What are you doing to this vase? I swear, they're always pecking at it. It's so weird. So weird. I don't think there's anything in there, but we'll have to... I'll check that out later. All right, let's see. All right, that's sorting. Throw these in here. That's sorting. And we should have some more cyan-stained glass. Um, maybe we'll just use regular, no, I don't want to use regular glass, because regular glass has the running water effect, and we're going for something a little bit fancier. Let's go ahead and get these. Also, we need to find, oh no, <laughs> Batpick, help me. I put down the glass in the wrong spot. No, Batpick, thank you, but that was a little over eager, Batpick. Now I need to put this back. Oh dear. There we go. There we go. All right, I'm getting a little bit more of the glass. And apparently you can't make the smelteries tall, but you can make them long if we want to just like be able to run along and be like, turn it all on. Also, I couldn't get the piping to set up. Like there's piping in our world. We have some awesome pipes and I couldn't quite figure out how to set up these pipes so that it would uh, extract the fluid. So maybe I needed to use a fluid extraction pipe. I used a wooden transport pipe, I think, and that just wasn't doing it. So maybe I need to make like a wooden, an emerald fluid pipe. Uh, let's see, or yeah, let's see. Hmm, extraction pipe, huh? Maybe we could make an extraction pipe Okay, we could try that because actually if I could automate it to make glass, I could make so many more underwater things. I could make so many more exhibits. So we're going to set this to go. And I'm actually super excited because if we can get the piping thing to work, that would be amazing. Because then I could just flip a switch and it could automate itself and that would be just stunningly cool. All right, darling. I'm so glad you're down here. I love you. Tackle hug. Oh, I love I love him so much. All right, and we're going to figure out how to make an emerald fluid extraction pipe. And it, so we need an emerald transport pipe, which means I need to sacrifice some of my precious emeralds. <laughs> we might actually have to go trade for some. Yeah, because I'm not going to break open that. Hello, darling. Thank you again for the cup of tea. So we need to go trade for emeralds from our, our kids upstairs, actually. Oh, dear. And we've got so much stuff. Oh, dear. And we've got so much stuff. Oh my gosh, I really need to clean this place up. This is ridiculous. Um, my goodness, and we still have a free range hen thing. Oh my goodness gracious. There needs to be a cleaning day, that's for sure. All right, let's move the safari nuts and the raw marble. I'm just going to put this in here. Oh, we need to push, put the splash potion um, back upstairs with Bella. I have mushroom stew for when I get hungry. And thank you guys for explaining to me that hunger goes down very, very quickly when you are underwater. Because I was so confused. I thought I had the flu or something. I was like, why am I dying? Do I have a tapeworm? What's happening here? I mean, you know, it's a valid concern. I work with so many animals. I don't even want to think about what sort of internal parasites you could pick up. Ugh. All right, let's go up and put this away with Bella. Bella, thank you so much. That was excellent shampoo. The dogs got so squeaky clean. We should sell some of it as dog shampoo over in our market stand when we get going, Bella. I think that'd be a great idea. But all right, let's see if we can get this fluid extraction pipe working. Pardon me, everybody. Pardon me. It's kind of nice to be back in the staff lounge because it means we're going to have progress at some point. All right, so let's get out the coal. JJ is usually more than willing to trade a lot of coal. Um, thank you, my love. And then I think, ah, we're going to need to go get like more sugarcane from our sugarcane fields 
so that we can have, um, that's not going to help me, I was thinking wheat. We have a farmer now, I believe, our newest member, our newest member of the uh, previously zombie villagers village that we've got going on up there, Junior's Town. What should we call that place, like Junior's Village or something? But our newest member, uh, it was a former zombie, and he's now rehabilitated. Oh good, we've got a lot of wheat, actually. And, oh, I need to put this away. Seeds! Oh my gosh, wouldn't it be so cool to make a seed analyzing unit so you could like put the seeds in like we have with the fish and then it could spit out random seeds at you? That would be so cool. Or maybe even like random flowers. Oh, that would be amazing, Lily. All right, let's go see if we can get enough emeralds with what we have or if we need to go and do a little bit of work harvesting up the sugar cane so we can make lots and lots of paper to trade to Kylie who is our resident uh, priest? Librarian. Resident librarian here. Hey, Mason. Mason's not interested in such petty things as, as emeralds. Good morning, Junior. How you doing, son? Still working on getting that beef for you. Good morning, JJ. Oh, dear. You're not in the mood to trade anything, are you? Hello, Jackson. Oh, Jackson, you're willing to trade. Yes, there's three for me. JJ, if I trade just, like, one... Here, I'm going to get the dog some breakfast from JJ, and let's see if that'll reset his, uh, Iverson. I need to get these guys more entertainment. Look at the way they crowd around the goats. <laughs> All right, JJ, are you in the mood? No? Well, I can't afford to do any more, so we'll just have to come back later. All right. So at least we know, um, actually, did we open up? A new trade for Jackson. Was it Jackson we were just trading with? How do we end up with so many J names here? Jackson! Pardon me, Jackson! Oh, now you're a wool trader too. Actually, have I opened up all these trades? I must have. Wow! I need some, some neat. Let's see. Robbie, how you doing, Robbie? Oh, cool. So I actually have cracked open a lot of their trades. I hadn't realized that. And it, there we go. And for you guys who said we should use an NPC instead for our market stall, we might. But keep in mind, I don't want an NPC to trade because our market stall stuff is stuff that we are trading with the other players. So we want to keep our little mitts on, um, on having access to the money that the players are going to have. And if you give the money to the NPC, it kind of vanishes into thin air. So we wouldn't get any, any cash for our efforts. All right, so let's see if we get a free range hen. Oh, darling, pardon me. I didn't mean to almost throw eggs in your face. I was trying to do some work. All right. All right, back downstairs. To my laboratory of science. All right, so now we have the emeralds. And let's get some glass for the emerald pipe. Oh, I have some science stained glass in here. Yes, I have some left. I thought I had some left, but when you've, when you've made like a few hundred blocks, you just kind of assume that you have nothing left. All right, let's uh, put it in here for now. And then let's go ahead and I think it's just this emerald transport pipe, round robin extraction pipe. And then I just need to make uh, emerald fluid pipe. Whoops. So now we need to make a pipe sealant, which is just some cactus green, which I don't have any left, but I might have some. Aha, eelgrass. There we go. Thank you, wonderful eelgrass. So then we do this and we'll just do like eight of these. There we go. All right, if we can make this work, it'll make everything so much better. Uh, let's see. So then where's my machinery and gears? My redstone engine. We'll get one redstone engine for testing purposes. Um, and a couple of redstone torches and maybe even some spare redstone. I don't really mess around with redstone very often, but I want to learn how to make our, f our zoo. I almost said farm for some unknown reason, but I want to learn how to make our zoo as efficient as possible. Well, no, that's a lie. I want to make our zoo awesome. And sometimes that requires a little bit of machinery. Let's see, where's my aha, fresh topsoil chest? And we're going to borrow some of this so we can just kind of up and close the door because I'm worried about everybody pricking themselves to death all the time now. And here we go. Okay, so experiment 404, you need to scooch over. Thank you very much. And I'm gonna scooch up here and we're gonna try this out. So we take this off, come here you. And then we stick the emerald extraction pipe. Hmm, hmm, maybe I put it on the wrong side. 
Let's see if this works. If this doesn't work, I'll feel sad, but I'll accept it. This is a fluid. We need we need an extraction of some kind. Come on, please. Aw, oh, man, for real, for real, for Rizzle. And there's nothing else I can use, like wooden extraction pipe, cobblestone extraction pipe. Okay, okay. Cobblestone won't connect to stone. I guess because they're not really made to go together. Let's see, golden iron fluid pipe. What, like, okay, let's try this. So we know it's smelt, the smeltery, wait, which is um, tinker. So tinkers, do you want to work with me somehow? You and I, we could come to a mutual agreement on how to make this uh, be pretty darn awesome if we can work together. Glue! <laughs> that just sounds cool to make. <laughs> oh man, tinkers, really? I'm going to have to do this all manually? For real? But I, I want to work with you, tinkers. Oh man. Alright, it doesn't look like I can set it up with this pipe system. And if I can, let me know how, because that would be really cool. Maybe... Oh wait, I didn't make the, the actual fluid extraction pipe. Duh! Oh my gosh, I feel so silly now. Let's see if this works. <gasps> oh my gosh! Okay, so if I put this right here... Uh, hang on. And this right here. And this right here. I think I need to connect it with like... Whoops! That was nifty, I think. Alright, I think I need to connect it with some redstone. I feel like a little kid who's like playing. I feel like I'm playing back in my dad's lab again. <laughs> my dad's like garage where he'd have all the, the stuff that he was working on. Come on. I don't think we can get this to turn on that way. So let's try it like this. You stubborn little silly, silly engine. And let's not fall in the smeltery and fill it with blood. That would be, that would be a little bad. All right. Are you going to work now? The redstone choo-choo. Redstone engine? Hmm? Hmm? Ah, so maybe if we could get the engine working and running, then... <laughs> Why won't you turn on? Turn on. Ah! Ah! It did it! Okay, let's just sit here for a minute. So, and then we can reach over <laughs> while we're waiting and keep those glass things flowing. It's thinking about it. Maybe it has to warm up for a little bit. Because it is a very slow engine, this redstone one. But it's not prone to blowing up. And I would prefer not to blow my laboratory up. Ah, it changed colors. Are you going to go choo, choo, choo? Up and down, up and down? Yeah? Poke, poke? Poke? It honestly feels like playing with my dad's circuit boards again. He was so cool. He totally encouraged me when I was growing up to like play with all the engineering stuff he had. He would help me build robots. Now you're red. What does that mean? How do I, I wonder if I need to like connect the pipes, because right now I guess, I guess there's no way for the pipes to know. And um, they're supposed to be powered right here. Hmm. Do I need to set like a different kind of piping? See, this is the trial and error of doing things like this. So let's see. I might need like a extraction pipe hooked up to this puppy somehow. So let's try this. Let's put all these here. Mm -hmm. So now I have a whole bunch of emerald extraction pipes. Aha! And... How's it going? Maybe the thing needs to be taller? Alright, so this is moving and grooving. Now... We did something, but I don't think it's going to work. <laughs> oh, man. I really wanted just to be able to leave this, like, automatic, and it could, like, pull out pull out what it needed. But maybe this is, this is uh, an experiment that we can continue to tinker with in the future. Because we're a little bit closer here. Hmm. Hmm. And this would be so nifty. <sighs> but I guess we're just going to have to do things manually by hand until then. So let's go ahead and turn this puppy off so we don't make it blow up or something horrible happen. 
and we'll just leave that like this for now. And then if you guys have suggestions about how to fix it, please let me know. But it is time to go take a bat pick and uh, dig out wherever Molefingers is hiding. And we'll go and we will dig out a little living quarters for Dr. Nami and Mandy. And I was, oh, and Pebbles too, don't worry. We'll give Pebbles like her own little like room. <laughs> that would be really cute actually. And like with a little slide and she can just like chill out in there now and then. Um, and then we also, I'm thinking about building where the old quarry is. I'm thinking about making that into a giant like shark cage for just the sharks that we're gently researching for a while. And like the quarry that's super, super deep all the way to bedrock and surrounding it entirely with a net and then putting a boat like on the edge of it. And from the boat, you can get off the boat and into a shark tank that's made out of iron bars. So you can swim with the sharks and study them. So I think that would sound really cool because they are aggressive unless you tame them and you kill the shark, get the egg, and then that's how you tame them. But all right, this thing's gonna be smelting down, making us some more glass. And I'm gonna have to figure out how to make this thing work, but I feel like we've made some sort of weird progress. So just have to figure out how to make it actually function. <sighs> All right, guys, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.